welcome to the next part of the solve problems on short transmission line the problem number fifth onwards we are going to discuss here so problem number five is uh, if you have a three phase line which is delivering 3600 kilowatt at a power factor of 0.8 lagging to a load and the sending and voltage is given to be 33 kV you have to determine the receiving and voltage line current and transmission efficiency given that the resistance and reactance of each conductor so first thing you have to remember that here it is a three phase system and second thing you have to remember here is that the receiving and voltage is not given in the problem rather than the sending and voltage is given so in the previous problem you have seen that the three phase system the receiving and power along with the receiving and voltage was given but now instead of that a sending and voltage is given in such scenario how to solve the problem let us see so the resistance is given to be 5.31 ohms and the reactance is given to be 5.54 ohms it means the power factor is given to be 0.8 lagging then since it is a three phase system 33 kV you have to divide with root 3 to obtain the line uh, phase voltage now this is the sending and voltage and not the receiving and voltage that you have to note so the power uh, that formula for power that we know that is basically uh, 3 times V phase I phase or cos phi this formula for power and here only the receiving end voltage is not given to us so the current magnitude will not be obtained directly because the power is given but the voltage is not given from either side if the voltage of the sending end and power of the sending end both are given then we could have obtained or the power at the receiving end and voltage at the receiving end both are given then we could have obtained but it is not like that then using this formula we can obtain the current equation as a function of the receiving end voltage so we will leave the current as the function of the receiving end voltage will not substitute anything will keep it like that now we know that approximate formula for the sending end voltage is this which obtained from the phasor diagram so here uh, we have been given the sending end voltage and the other terms whereas the only unknown is the receiving end voltage so we can frame an equation of the receiving end voltage which is a quadratic equation so we can form a quadratic uh, equation from the approximate formula of this so here sending end voltage is given the only unknown is the receiving end voltage so we will form this quadratic equation and solve it the one solution that is suitable to us will be this so we have obtained the receiving end voltage and this is the phasor quantity single phase quantity so the line voltage is basically the root 3 times the phase voltage as we have to convert the receiving end voltage in the line quantity so it is 31.93 kilovolt next then we can substitute the receiving end voltage whatever we have obtained as the phase quantity in the current formula then the current is equal to 81.36 ampere so the total line losses will multiply with three times because it is a three phase system so i square r and substitute the value of the current and resistance we will get a value of 105.447 kilowatt and simultaneously we can obtain the transmission efficiency as the power output which is given to us and the power output plus losses so losses we have calculated so which is coming to be 97.15 percent so here the only difference that we have observed in this particular problem compared to problem number three is that the data corresponding to both ends are given we have been given the value of bs and we have been given the value of pr so how do we use these two data at the extreme end to find the value of br and ir so that we have solved next problem problem number six 
is on three phase system the impedance of the line is given per phase and the sending end and receiving end voltage both are given now in this problem we have been given both the value of vs and vr and we have not been given the value of the power so receiving and power is not given so that is the difference in this problem we have been given the sending and voltage and the receiving and voltage as well but we have not been given the power and the power factor angle is 0.9 at the receiving end what is the power output and what is the sending and power factor so the solution is you have been given the resistance 6 ohms we have been given the uh, reactance 8 ohms so power factor angle is also given 0.9 and that is the receiving end power factor so the receiving end voltage per phase because the voltage that is given is the line quantity so we have to convert both the receiving end and the sending end by dividing it with root 3 to obtain the voltage of single phase quantity so this is the receiving end voltage and this is the sending end voltage per phase then using the approximation formula we have known the Vs value and Vr value and other quantities the only unknown here is the current so the current can, we can find as 650.2 after solving so obtaining the value of the current it will be easy to find the power so power formula we know that it is 3 times V phase I phase and cos phi so power output we have been given the receiving end voltage and the receiving end current we have obtained power factor we know cos phi so multiplied with 3 we can easily obtain that the power output is this much now sending and power factor we can obtain from the phasor diagram using this formula all the quantities are known to us so just on substitution we can obtain 0 0.88 lagging as the sending end power factor so problem number 7 here we have an 11 kV three phase transmission line now when the problem is given like that so you have to know that this value 11 kV it is not mentioned whether it is a sending end or the receiving end but we should know that it is a three phase system it is always the receiving end voltage line quantity okay the resistance is given to be 1.5 ohms and the reactance is given to be 4 ohms you have to calculate the percentage regulation and efficiency of the line when the total load so you have been given the information of the load so load is equal to 5000 kva at 0 0.8 power factor lagging and it is supplied at 11 kv so this voltage is basically the line voltage this power you can see the unit it is kva so it is basically the complex power in three phase okay and this is the power factor so you have to determine the performance of the line that is what is the percentage regulation voltage regulation first thing and second thing is efficiency okay so resistance is given 1.5 ohms reactance 4 ohm so you can determine the voltage by dividing with root 3 as you have to convert it into per phase then power factor is given to us cos phi r so the current we have to obtain from the power so we can easily obtain the current from the power as power is equal to v3 phase v phase i phase cos phi so from here you can easily obtain what is the value of the current so you can obtain the value of the current now use the approximate formula vs relationship between vs and vr we can obtain what is the sending and voltage now the voltage regulation formula you know that sending and voltage minus receiving and voltage by receiving and voltage into 100 we have obtained the value of vs vr is given to us so it is value to be 14.88 percent now the total loss of the line is multiplied with 3 times 3 i square r so we have calculated the current we have obtained that we are resistance is given to us so it is equal to 310 kilowatt so power output is basically now one thing we have to note here is that the 5000 is basically given as the complex power and not the real power so we can't take 5000 directly as the real power so it is a complex power so multiplied with power factor then we can obtain what is the power output of the system 
So power input, so usually students commit a mistake here, please make a special note in this point and input power is equal to output power plus line losses. So here you have 4000 kilowatt which you have calculated, just add line losses, then the efficiency of the line is equal to output power by input power which is comes to be 92.8 percent of the line. So here um, the only difference uh, from the previous discussions whatever we have done is basically we have to understand what is the apparent power role in the load side. So the most of the students commit mistake here in calculating the apparent power. Then only whatever the power you have obtained that you have to substitute here to obtain the input power. Okay. The last problem that we are going to discuss problem number 8 is in 3 phase 50 hertz 16 kilometer long overhead line it is supplying 1000 kilowatts. So this is basically the receiving end power and this is equal to the 3 phase power. At 11 kV so this is the receiving and voltage the resistance and the inductance are given per phase per kilometer. So you have to determine the sending and voltage, voltage regulation and efficiency of the line. So let us see. So resistance, you have one difference here, here the resistances are given per kilometer of the transmission line. If you see the previous problems, we have discussed the resistance and the reactance are basically per phase okay here we have been given the total resistance and the total reactance here it is given per kilometer so you have to obtain it by multiplying with the total length of the transmission line in the resistance and the reactance so reactance again is not given directly so we know that xl is equal to omega l and omega you can substitute as 2 pi f into uh, your L that is the inductance. Now these you have to multiply with the length of the transmission line to obtain the total reactance of the line. So frequency is given to be 50 Hz and the inductance values are given so it is equal to 3.52 ohms. Now this impedance we are getting now R plus Jx. In the previous problems it was given very direct straightforward but here we have to do a little calculation. So receiving and voltage we can obtain by dividing with root 3 because it is a three phase system convert into single phase cos phi r is given to us then we can obtain the value of the current with the formulas power divided by 3 times the receiving and voltage into cos phi. So the current that you are getting is 65.6 ampere. Now the sending and voltage and the other quantities are related with the approximate formula of this which you will get 65.15 volt. So in order to determine the voltage regulation on the line, we have to do Vs minus Vr by Vr into 100. So that will give 2.58 percentage. Vs we have calculated, Vr is given to us and then we can determine the line losses. So line losses is three times because we have a three phase system. R is the resistance per conductor which we have calculated. So line losses is equal to 6.2 kilowatt. Then input power is basically output power plus line losses. So output power is given and that is given in kilowatt this time. It is not given in kVA otherwise we would, we would have to calculate. Now here we are getting the total input power of the system. So transmission efficiency is output power by input power. So it is coming to be 99.38 percentage. So that complete the second part of the short transmission line. Now in the next tutorial we are going to discuss the medium transmission line. Thank you.